My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is the Weekly Dumb. Jake? Showing skin? Jim, Zach, happy September. Last September. Um, how was your weekend? It was it was good simply because the weather changed, and that was nice. Yeah. How about the sports? Jim, huge sports weekend. We know the NFL kicked off, but we're going to minor league baseball, but we're going to a Hall of Famer. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mad Max Scherzer. Perfect game at AAA. Stop by an intentional walk. And we have some theories, and we think we have the theory, but they're also saying it's probably the first time a perfect game has ever been broken by an intentional walk. 11 batters came and went out, 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 out. Max Scherzer, just demoralizing them. There's AAA, there's Major League Baseball, and then there's Hall of Fame Baseball. So he's actually two leagues above them, and he reminded them. Yeah, I have a perfect game on the line, but also I, I would like to work from the stretch, Don't and care. you guys aren't giving me the opportunity to work from the stretch, so going to need some base runners. God. So Scherzer's ready to go. Also, the last batter of the inning, Noda, reviewed strike three and went to replay, and the article says Scherzer laughed, laughed. on the mound. Ah. The review said it was a strike. I would have liked to see the laugh. Me too. The article had a little too much Jimmy Christmas in it, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I don't talk or think about him. This almost breakdown. You were at the game. Listen. Listen. <laughs> I like when there's animals on the field and they're covered correctly. And then we have beautiful slow-mo shots and they cause from a production havoc, standpoint. From a production standpoint. And this rabbit was on the field versus uh, during the Northwestern game. And they have great shots of it. They have a shot, Zach. Maybe you can find this one where it's looking this way. And then it turns. Really cute. It's a good looking rabbit. And then... The mascot gets sent to chase it off the field. So now you've got animal versus animal, and you're interested to see what the rabbit's going to do because it's a giant hut. What? Dog? Giant animal. Giant animal. I don't know what kind of mascot it was. For a school like Northwestern, you'd think they'd have, you know, a pretty legit mascot going on. Basically, Wiley a coyote. If you put a map of the U.S., it's Northwestern. So my neighbors wouldn't let us run through his backyard to catch the rabbits, and we always thought that was rude of him. But in retrospect, that's fair. I don't think you want kids running through your backyard right now. Yeah, well, I got a lot of dog poop out there. No, the mascot does the perfect, I'm a football mascot, I'm chasing a rabbit. He plays it up well. Oh, oh, oh. I'm going to catch this rabbit. Yeah, I would have liked to see the mascot catch rabbit, see what he does with it. Eat it. That's got his pants off. Ooh. <laughs> what? More sports. More sports brought to you by DraftKings Sportsbook. That's what they're doing, man. Enough with the rap. Bring the hook right back. Thank you, DraftKings. Uh, Jim, I mentioned NFL season has kicked off, and the play that everyone is talking about from this weekend, Thomas Downey High School perfectly executes a creative fake punt. I love trickeration in football. This is great football. You talked about production. This fake punt is a production. Mm -hmm. We're acting it out like it's a punt. The punter is even lining it up like he's about to drop kick it, but he swirls it up like a punted ball, and they have the, the gunners coming down the side pretending. They're yelling, get away, get away, get away. And then a guy jumps up, catches it for the first down. It's the perfect play. Little giant scene. It's the perfect football play. Annexation of Puerto Rico. Pants on. You watch this and you go, whoa, how have I never seen that before? Yeah. They're going to make a rule to make that illegal soon. <laughs> That's when you find the perfect play. Perfect, yeah. Like, I don't know how that ever doesn't work. You'd have to have the guys on the line. You'd have to have one guy like take off and he's just a watcher yeah. and he's got the most booming voice and he just goes throw throw it's a throw i mean these thomas downey high school games the reddit thread someone was in there and it could be a complete lie or it could be true said i went to this school he was my coach we he's been working on that for 18 years i deep dove into the modesto b where i get most of my news where's that is that modesto as you're deep diving slowly oh. This coach has run this play twice before. One in 1999. It scored the touchdown. They won the game 8-7. to seven. They went for two after the so play. So does he have a guilty conscience about the play? Yes. Because he ran it one time between then and now in 2013. He just gives himself a, uh, like 15 years. Every He's 15 had years this run play it. for 25 years. He's run it three times. I believe successfully each time. That's too patient. Maybe he, waits, too patient. maybe he waits for a new coach to join the conference. Get some. Name of the play, Zach. Vomit. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Off screen. Wow. Pants off. Ooh, next up. I think it's because of this not sports story that Zach was telling you about. There have been a lot of lies set around this dinner table here tonight. We've got a murder. A cat murder. 
Why would you clap? No. That was Zach clipped that together from Here's an old Here's what thing. happened. Nikki Knight. <laughs> Three, two, one. Ten. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And a cat murder story, Nikki yeah. Knight. So Nikki Knight was on holiday with <laughs> her family in Turkey. She gets Gorgeous, a notification. By the way. Go visit turkey.com. She gets a notification, or just the turkeys at Stu Leonard's. She gets a notification on a ring doorbell, and it's her neighbor who says, Oh, hey, Nikki, I know you guys are in Turkey, but I just found your cat in my pond. He's dead. Uh, neighbor sounds sketch. <laughs> right? That's yeah. what I'm trying to say. Because yeah. he rang the doorbell and said, I just found a, a dead cat in my pond. I think it's yours. Why are you checking your pond for dead cats? I drowned it. Ooh. Didn't say that. Didn't say, didn't say that. that. The cat's like boxed up and cremated. Right. I don't even know if they really like identify the body. Four days later, the cat just walks into their house <sighs> and is like, what's up? How was Turkey? Good vacay. I enjoyed the wilderness. Right. And I think the neighbor was trying to kill their cat. Yeah. And he killed the wrong cat. So I'd love to check in on his conscience. Solution to this? Cat's alive and well. I don't watch anime. The dead one's not. Drowned and burned. But this is what I picture anime is. If this was anime, this would be a two cat love story. <laughs> And one of the cats got murdered. Anime. What? <laughs> and that's anime. It's the employee, employee of, of the week. week. Employee of the week goes to a man. Yeah. Who forced Chris Rose to take his shirt off. Colin Stone. Colin Stone. Congrats, Colin. MVP of the warehouse. His brother leads Major League Baseball. Leads the Dodgers in innings pitch. Gavin Leads the Stone. Dodgers in innings pitch. And ma leads Major League Baseball in some stat. Maybe. Definitely. And find one. Okay. Most strikeouts by a guy born on his birthday. Probably leads that. Probably. Innings pitch. Sure. Congrats to the Stoners. Colin Stone got Chris Rose naked. Visit turkey.com. That was the Weekly Dumb! Today's episode of the Weekly Dumb was brought to you by DraftKings. With the football season kicking off, it's the perfect time to dive into the action with our partners at DraftKings, the number one place to bet on touchdowns. Right now, all new customers who bet just $5 will instantly get 215 bonus bets plus one free month of NFL plus premium. Now that's something we can all celebrate. So download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use promo code DUMB and bet just $5 on any wager and get 215 bonus bets instantly. That's promo code DUMB only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Another cat came into the picture that looks like that cat wanted a nice cat life. Oh, Drowned yeah, that yeah, cat yeah. You think life. this is like a con man situation? What was it? It's one of the uh, Key and Peele movies. Us. Us. It's called Us, and they're tethered people. Visit turkey.com. You mean the Jordan Peele movie? You're thinking the Key and Peele skit when I like, you, when the you boxing say, scene? When you say Key and Peele, I think comedy. Good rebrand by him. Kind of like, he's like an M. Night Shyamalan guy. Oh, how? Oh, Zach's how, bugaboo. How, <laughs> how is that Zach's bugaboo. Did you see Trap got terrible reviews? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Visit turkey.com. What was his first movie? Get Out? Oh, get Out, yeah. Us? They're Shyamalan-esque. Ho, oh, ho, ho. How? Whoa. They're like horror movies with twists. So the one movie that I was definitely never going to see, but I like the preview. You're telling me got bad reviews. Let's watch it. Who watches you? Who get? Who do you get your reviews from? You want me to watch? <laughs> <laughs> if I watch another super producer, you got to watch Trapped. I'll watch Trapped. Is that a super seducer for Trapped trade? Zach will shake on that. I don't have hands.